We're doing a quick demonstration on uh, inserting the flash into any pipeline. We're doing this two inch line that's out of sight going the other way. Um, this is where we train guys, so this site might look familiar. But uh, we're going to show you how to use a fish tape to pull the flash head through and then to test the line using the flash system. So we take our, our fish tape and we have our head that's on here and this basically allows us to get through uh, pipe. We have a two inch line that we're getting into. It breaks down an inch and a half and it also has two 90s and a whole bunch of 45s. So uh, we're going to start by inserting our fish tape in. Now that we uh, pull our, fl our fish tape through, we're going to hook up our flash head. We use this little swivel connector. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the other end. We're going to pull our fish tape back and we're going to be pulling our flash head into the pipe. Oh. Okay, so now that we pulled the mic head all the way through, we're going to disconnect it from the clip and we're going to send the mic head back in and then we're going to show you how we start listening and then using the, uh, the sun portion the flash portion in order to locate it. So you can actually trace this line or you can detect a leak in this line um, and we're going to show you how to do that. So now that we drop the pipe, the microphone back into the pipe, we're going to hook up our pressure rig. We're going to set to run everything at three pounds and we're going to show you what we do to the other side. We hook up our plug that the wire rides through and we start pulling and listening. So now that the other side is plugged with the pressure rig, um, we're going to plug this side where the cable rides through. With, with this plug and again we're only going to put this under very low pressure it's only going to be under three pounds um, and we're going to introduce the hearing and then we're going to locate the head where the actual leak is so now what we're doing is we're listening on a very low volume because when we get around that pressure side leak with the pipe on the inside of the diameter of the pipe it's going to scream so we keep our volume very low and what we do is we drag our microphone back at 12 inch intervals Letting it set, and we listen in between each. Some guys like to mute it in between each pull. If you have your volume down low enough, you should be fine. Now that I pulled it, we got within our sounds. We're going to introduce that sound now. We're right over it as we speak. So the microphone head is over the leak. We're hearing that jet nows, which we're going to introduce to you now, the jet noise. And then what we're going to do is, now that we know that the mic head is on top of it, we're going to send the frequency to the mic head, scan it, and the mic head is at the leak. So, so that's the actual sound that you're going to hear when you're over the leak. Again, because the microphone head is right next to a very slow pressure side leak, and this is the classic sound that you're going to hear from that. So now that... Um, we found it with the amp, we're going to disconnect the amp, and this is the flash driver. And what this does, it puts out a steady or a pulse sound. We like to use it in pulse mode because it eliminates any other interference that you're going to get with a sun. Meaning, the flash head right now is over the leak. We are going to send that frequency out of the flash head by installing this. And then we're going to take our scanner and we're going to wand the area that we're working with and we're gonna find that, that head. So now we're um, scanning the area. And we're listening for that, that very distinct pulse. Once we find that pulse, we can back down our sensitivity and we can pinpoint. So this is where we're loudest. It's gonna see if it's gonna dim. Totally dims. Take the pulse back up here. It dims that way. So then we grid it and we go this way. So our leak is right underneath here. Put an X, cut and do your repair. 